Hello, uh, this is Dimitri with uh, Yugears US UK LLC. Um, decided to restart the series of the uh, assembly uh, process. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first model that we had available. This is the mechanical Itui. Um, I have one of the boxes that is already damaged, so I'm um, just uh, gonna use it as is. Um, seems like the product is not damaged, it's just the box was uh, a little bit destroyed during the shipping. Um, the tools that I need or recommended, they're not required. Uh, I'm gonna use a little file, uh, precision file I have here. I do have a uh, little um, a tea candle, uh, which is also helpful to uh, lubricate the gears a little bit. I got a little box cutter knife uh, and I have a little cutter, so I'm gonna use them more like a to grab onto a toothpick if I need to pull it out or just cut it off uh, if I need to cut it very close. Um, so that should work. All right, uh, let's see how fast we can do this one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start assembly. Just gonna go step by step um, and see what is what is gonna take to put a little box mechanical Itui together. So the process just starts out by uh, taking all the plastic off. Uh, make sure you don't spill the toothpicks that come with the unit. Uh, there should be somewhere inside. Here you go. And uh, we do have, it comes with a set of instructions. Uh, instructions are pretty simple, straightforward. They're all visual, so it tells you where to pull the part. And, um, uh, what are the steps you need to take? So let's just go over a little um, um, recommendations. So when you see a picture like this, that means uh, try to use the uh, tea candle wax or candle wax. Uh, it has to be solid wax because the wood does absorb. So I wouldn't recommend to use anything like WD-40 or any kind of liquid. Um, lubricants so the uh, candle wax is one of the better ones uh, ruler obviously you'll need to check the size uh, here do not uh, fully press the parts um, there's a little uh, cross uh, or a little line across um, this little warning to use the cutter or break off the piece um, obviously exclamation mark means to pay attention um, additional parts that's the add plus sign and then obviously where it shows the little knife on the board that means to uh, it's a pretty precise pieces so just um, cut them out rather than just trying to push it up um, there is a little helper tool that is uh, shown on page three it is on the uh, let's see which board it's gonna be on this is gonna be on a well, in my case, I have one in the middle. It's a tool number zero. So you just need to push it out. And as a recommendation, there's a back side and the front side. So the back side, it's a little bit darker lines. Uh, that's where the laser goes through. Uh, the front side, where it comes out, so it's a little cleaner. Um, and uh, so you just push from the back towards the front, that way if there is a fiber breaks off from the plywood, uh, it's gonna break off on the actual board rather than on a part. So you just push it out. Sometimes if the part doesn't come out right away, just work it back and forth, and uh, that should um, help it a little bit. So this is a part, and then let's go ahead and start with the assembly. Uh, the first, uh, we do need the, the same board where that part was, we can put the other two aside. And uh, we need, uh, this part number three, uh, pieces number five, six, uh, two, four, four, and two ones. So those are the parts that we need. Once again, you got a back face, you got a front face, so we're gonna go from the back towards the front, push it out, uh, big wheel, part number three. That's what I'm starting with. And then there's internal pieces. I would go from the front towards the back because obviously you want the fiber on the pieces rather than on the wheel itself. So I'm gonna go from the front towards the back face. And then you also need to check, see that's where the what I was talking about. So it's pulling the fiber from this uh, leftover piece rather than from the uh, wheel itself. 
confirm the gear. So uh, one more thing, uh, the reason why we need a file, uh, there is a little pieces that are left off after the breakaway and that those are the ones that you wanna clean off and maybe send it out in a little bit. Uh, you can use a file, I've seen people using a nail uh, polisher or nail filer, I should say, not polisher. Uh, you can use sandpaper, so anything that uh, you can file with. Here's another piece that uh, you wanna break off and then file the rest. So it'll make a little smoother operation than it is. Than it would be with that piece on it. So we need uh, number fours. Need number two. Number ones. And as I said, if the pieces don't break off very easy, also you can pull the, the this uh, uh, part of the board out and uh, just work it back and forth. That will help to get these pieces out. Once again, if you break a board, it's okay as long as you don't break the part itself. So, and as I said, little file or sandpaper just to clean it off. Uh, make sure that uh, it's nice and smooth. And you can also work with your hands a little bit to uh, break it off, so, uh, or to clean it off. Now we need uh, parts number five and six. I'll pull the little um, rectangles out and pull the parts out. I don't know why I just grabbed number five. The sequence when uh, to put it into the assembly doesn't really matter. Uh, I just, um, I don't need these parts anymore. Uh, so big wheel, we got five and six. Uh, Fives are going a little bit bigger slots uh, with the six uh, and the uh, little um, thinner part goes inside the wheel and then the six uh, obviously this little uh, cutout goes on the outside and the indication that you see the direction it should be the same as the number five so just put those in then we got we can lock it down with number four uh, obviously pay attention to the errors whatever it is on the manual in the instructions so there's a little error showing clockwise and that's what you want to do so you want to do the arrow clockwise and uh, obviously it's two pieces so both of them you want to do clockwise so they're match up little openings match up on the other side, uh, you want to do number two. Obviously, uh, the slots are a little bit longer. The on the pieces where it's uh, thinner on uh, assembly. So insert that, and then you get uh, two little stars. And uh, doesn't matter directionality in this case, but you put them over, and make sure. Well, they should match up. So. It'll be nice and easy. It looks like it's a modified version from what I used to make before from my period previous assembly. So uh, yours might differ slightly. Let's open up the toothpicks. Um, and all the last step of the assembly, we just need to put one toothpick through. So the site which you're gonna go through, it doesn't matter, but um, if the toothpick doesn't go through immediately, try to play it back and forth a little bit. And then one more suggestion, suggestion you can put a little bit of um, wax on it. It might make it go through easier. If it doesn't go through, I'd recommend to use a different toothpick because um, otherwise you're risking of breaking it or getting it stuck. Also, you can use the uh, helper part. There's a little hole on here. Just put it over the toothpick and push it in. I try not to, I mean, it also might break the toothpick a little bit. Now, we do need to make a measurement, so we use the same part, and a toothpick has to stick out, uh, so this portion has to be flushed, uh, the portion, a uh, little side with a hole needs to be flushed with the um, gears, and then the toothpicks stick out only enough uh, to go underneath this opening, so 
you just gotta push it a little bit further and see maybe a little bit more so in this case I started with the wrong side so I should have started from the from this side then it would be easier I just need to push it through a little bit but now I have to kind of grab on this smaller piece and try to get it out by pushing it through so almost there I just don't have enough grip on the other portion so now I'm gonna use that little hole and kind of push the toothpick in a little bit so now I have it enough um, with a measurement so so good now I can put it aside and go on to the next step which is uh, page number five and obviously we need to go on the same board and uh, push pieces number seven nine ten or seven eight nine ten push those out two eights um, these are little uh, little tiny gears uh, nine and ten are on one little rectangle so we can get the rectangle out completely and then just work one by one and as I mentioned if it doesn't come out very easy just work it back and forth a little bit and then eventually it'll pop out get 10 out and then 9 so as I mentioned before I'm not sure which revision I have if it's a newer or older I the older units that I built they were a little bit different so um, it's possible that it is a new uh, once again even if you mix up the parts you can figure it out uh, pair them up and see which one is which, which one is number nine, which one is number 10. Um, they kind of have to interlock. Uh, we'll put uh, these two little gears on top. Slide it through, kind of liking it in place. And then make sure when you insert the other two that they're matching with the back gears. So it's one, clean it off a little bit. It does uh, say and recommend it to use the um, candle wax a little bit. I'm not gonna do it at this time. Um, just gonna do it a little bit later. So I got the assembly down, I just need a toothpick. Grab one and then uh, we need the measurement from this little side so I'm gonna start pushing from the back so it doesn't go very well once again just lubricate it a little bit that will give it a little more go and you can push it through a little easier now don't over push it because I just did and actually kind of hard with the um, lubricant to pull it back out uh, so the measurement it has to go from the other end to here so I'm almost there just need to, need to push it a little bit back I'm gonna use that little hole and I think I did too much uh, yeah, just right about about right and then it uh, it is recommend to use lubricant on both ends of the um, toothpick and as well as on the gears. The, using the lubricant on the gears will make a little bit better operation. Uh, well, in some cases, a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna try to get a piece of uh, candle rather than using a toothpick. And that way it's uh, just easier application so I can just go in between the gears and wipe it on a little bit just to give it a lubrication. And all around and the same thing on this one so it did say to use lub lubricant on the gear 
and a little one so I didn't use it in the beginning but you put a little bit of uh, candle wax on a toothpick and on a little gear and just clean it off so it looks nicer it doesn't look like glue or lubricant and that's it so next part that we have uh, we need a toothpick and number 16 so it's on the same board uh, take number 16 and um, kind of applying pressure across the full face we'll push it out then we need another one more toothpick and a little bit of lubricant toothpick so good thing there's plenty of them in the uh, in the box so don't worry if you break one off you can just grab another one and it looks like my hands are in the wax so a little bit hard to wiggle it back and forth um, So sometimes you just need to play around a little bit until you get the toothpick going through. Um, once a one more uh, hint that not all toothpicks are created equal because they're all made in China, so they do have a different tolerances. So kind of pick the ones that might be a little bit thinner, and then it should go in a little bit easier. Here we go. And I got him. Oh. From the other side a little bit too far there you go so now it's the same assembly as on five now page five the end uh, now we're going on to the page number six uh, we're still on the same board so we got uh, part number 11 got also part number um, 12 and we get it assembled in step number one so we are holding it with that little uh, tongue up and then uh, uh, with the three piece number 12 on the right side so but it doesn't fit okay just make sure you put it on the correct side and then you need a toothpick and I can use the one that I already have broken so um, I can reuse that toothpick put a little bit of lubricant on there so it goes through a little bit easier and then I can just use the um, either break it off by hand um, which usually if you hold it or you can um, cut it with a knife or do a little pre-cut and then uh, just clean clean out the surface a little bit also you can use the file just file it off to make it nice and smooth and then the next step is uh, pieces number 15 and 14 and obviously 13 I can push it out right away because I'm gonna insert it right after so we have um, tongue up this little piece number 12 on this right side and then we're inserted from the right side so the 15 which got a little bit thicker body uh, goes in the horizontal direction 
with this little bosses towards the center and then the 14 is uh, goes into the other holes once again the somewhat um, round cutout is on the outside right and then uh, number 13 with a little um, there's a little tongue at one of the ends and the teeth on the um, front so that the teeth go towards the uh, these teeth right here and then uh, let's see So that little uh, tongue is supposed to face the hole and then the teeth will face somewhat uh, downward. And that's how we insert everything together and then one more toothpick. We measure it from that side. So let's push it from the opposite end. Once again work it out, work it in a little bit. Once the parts settle should be should go through a little bit easier. and then we're uh, a little bit too far so our, the measurement is once again against the face with the hole so um, it has to fall into that little uh, opening there so I just need a little bit more push and we're good. So we're ready with another part. Now we're assembly of the box. So that's the next board that we have here. Uh, got a box on it. Uh, so the step number one is pieces number 19. Got pieces number, uh, let's see, 17, uh, which is right here, and 18. So with the box, little lines towards the back, uh, 18. Yeah, there's, a, there's a little a hole on here, so that one goes towards the lines. Just assemble it together. And then, uh, and... And then uh, the other piece, the number 17 piece, is on the uh, on the opposite end. So it's on the left side, also with the hole towards the back. And just push them together. Uh, make sure they sit all the way uh, towards the bottom of the box. Uh, then another piece, the next piece, step number two is piece number 20. And then there is a little boss on here, so that goes towards, uh, towards the right side. And then you kind of insert it in that, in, into those little holes. So the two little bosses, so we get a part of the box here. Then a part number 21. goes towards the back, on the back, and that one uh, should be able just to insert it. Nice box. And then uh, pieces number, there's 24, 22, 23. So I got 22, 23 pulled out. Uh, we'll do these first. So the um, with the cover opening towards you, the one with the teeth is going to go on the right hand side with the teeth facing down. Oh, kind of like a little bit down. So just on that side and then uh, the other side 23. Uh, obviously there's only one way you can put it on. That it sits nice and perfectly is on that side. Now, as far as 24, there's two different versions. So you got 24A and 24B. 24A, it's uh, to create a box. 
uh, 24B is more like for the business card holder. So there's a little bit opening cutout where you can uh, put your finger in to lift up the uh, gift card, or not the gift card, but the business card. So I'm gonna use this one in that case. Um, kind of gives you both, both options. So you can pick and choose which one you want. So then the same thing with the back plate, you just insert it and make sure it sits, fully sits into the, into the box. All right, and uh, the next step, and that's shown on uh, what I just explained, the 24A, 24B, just to show you that there is two different uh, boxes. So, and then the last step to for the box is the pieces number 25 and 26. So the 26 goes in the, on the back uh, in a little boss of the cover, like a little hook. So just make sure it sits all the way on there. And then uh, the piece number 25, that one doesn't matter which way you push it out, as long as you're able to push it out. <laughs> it's a little hard because the smaller piece is a little bit tough to push out from the box. And then that one you just insert um, into the sides here and use your the helper tool to make sure it's kind of lined up on there so it's easier to insert lined up with the holes both holes and then you push it as far as you can and then you use the helper tool just to kind of finish the job and push it all the way through so it has to be flush on the inside just like that flush totally flush and then it sticks out on the opposite uh, on the outside so same thing we're doing on the uh, right side and the left side so on both ends there's a little um, sticks there and uh, put a little bit of lubricant on there on both sides, candle wax, just to make them smoother in opening operation. Maybe a little bit too much. Uh, the next step is the uh, burger pieces. So we have a front and that's the one we're gonna start with. So the front, once again, we're going front back towards the front to push it out from the main board. And then the inner board, we're gonna go from the front towards the back. So the fibers, when they break off, that they break off from the internal piece rather than from external. Uh, then we do need number 28. One, two, three, four on this one. Once again, just work it back and forth. Um, that will help you to push them out from the boards. And um, just insert it in the little holes. When you push it, make sure you have enough support on that little uh, piece number 27, uh, because if uh, you got it hanging or something, it's easy to crack it. So just, especially where in, you insert the parts. Kind of start it on the table and then just work it in a little bit after you start it. To work it all the way to the end. So we're good with uh, 
number 27, we're gonna put it aside, and then we're gonna go on to number 29, okay, and the same thing. The main part, push from the board, from back to front, and then the inner piece from front to back. Clean it off, all the extra parts, and then once again, we need more number 28. With the little pieces, um, got to be a little bit careful with them. Sometimes they do fall apart as they're tiny. Um, there's some uh, of the parts that are uh, extras, just in case if you break them off. Uh, but uh, if you do break any pieces during assembly, just go on our website, ugears.us, um, and there you can uh, find a link there for the part replacement procedure. So we can replace the part for you, not a problem. Um, just we do need a couple pictures. Um, so we're number part number 29, and we do 28. Um, there's two little holes on the right side, and then uh, two on the top. So make sure you insert it from that direction, uh, that the little uh, part with the circle um, burned in is on the right side. Because we want, we want these parts to match up. And this is the exclamation part, the part that we have on the uh, assembly instructions just to make sure that uh, you're doing the correct thing. All right. So step number three is uh, holders for the box. So we got two parts number 30 and then two 31s. They're identical and they have to be a mirror image of each other. So one goes to the right uh, with the little larger side or larger boss on the top. Once again, just to the end, make sure they're almost flush. And then the other one is a mirror image. We just insert it from the other side. All right, and then uh, go ahead and put them onto the main assembly so your gears facing towards you. Uh, the These little um, 31 number 31 pieces towards the inside and then uh, just like that and then the opposite end make sure you got that circle on the back and uh, so these little um, 28s are on the left side now. And then you just uh, insert it and make sure they're all the way to the end. All right, so the next step, uh, you need to make sure that we don't snap these together uh, we I did forget to insert in a step number four this little piece here uh, that we created earlier so I'm gonna do that now and uh, you need to make sure that these little two cylinders uh, towards the back so I'm gonna go ahead and separate it a little bit put that piece in there insert it there you go now it's in place and now we can put in the box um, 
So these little pieces that are sticking out going in the holes. So you kind of need to separate it a little bit. It shouldn't be a problem and just insert it in the hole. So the box is in. And it goes up and down. And we're almost at the end, page number nine. Uh, just a couple pieces that we need to, ins in to insert. So with the tongue up, um, this with the lever going uh, on the left side, put in this little arm and a uh, couple little things. Make sure that it sits when you insert it, make sure that sits on the little cylinder that we just put in on the previous step, the, uh, the lever, and then uh, also the, the teeth of the gear are engaged with the teeth of the gear on the box. So. so as you can see, it does sit on these little, uh, you can adjust it a little bit on a little cylinder and the teeth are engaged with the box closed. This is on the back, so kind of like when you move it back up and down, it does lift the box up. Um, and then we use numbers 32 uh, to lock all that in place. And there's one piece number 30, Three, which goes on the right side, the little boss towards the back that will stop the box from going beyond um, of where it's supposed to go. So it will uh, kind of break, break it a little bit, break the movement of the box. So these numbers, uh, 32, clean off the fibers a little bit. They will hold the box together. falling apart. So just check the operation, everything is good. And then the last step is to insert the big gear. And then, uh, so you make sure that uh, the little uh, gear, small, small gear is on the back and engaged with the uh, lever. Uh, pull it apart a little bit so the movement is there it's just a little bit tight right now but make sure it does go up and down so when you open it you can move the lever up and down just to check make sure the movement in there and then the last piece is uh, we insert that little flywheel so with the obviously to engage with the main here, make sure the teeth are engaged, and then uh, you can slightly adjust that on the tip. So now it does have the operation, and uh, the last step that we need to make sure is that there is no uh, interference anywhere. It looks like there is a slight interference with the arm because it is a plywood, so there might be a little bit warp. So I would. Uh, just move the big gear a little bit on the toothpick. Um, and play around a little bit until you get the 
operation going. So it is a plywood and it will have some friction to it. So uh, for the nice and smooth, perfect operation, it will take a little bit of time playing back and forth. Uh, a little bit of adjustment, but as long as the operation is there, it's good to go. Um, so one of the things that I see right away where um, the operation might not be very smooth is that flywheel. My toothpick might be a little bit too big and actually on the other one too. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut off a little bit of uh, on both ends. give me a little bit more movement then I'm gonna do it on a big gear too so I can kind of see it because it's spreading apart uh, the um, these two front faces or front and back face so I'm just chopping off a little bit of the toothpick on both ends um, just to give it a little bit don't chop off too much because otherwise it's not going to hold. So here we go. Much better. And then uh, the flywheel on the back. All right, make sure everything is in the holes. So now I don't have any deformation, uh, but still a little bit of. See if we take the flywheel away, just check the operation, and move the gear on the toothpick a little bit, just to prevent um, a little interference, and then I put the flywheel at the end. And I think it might have chopped off a little bit too much. I still see some interference on the flywheel, so I'm gonna take off a little bit more of the toothpick on that. One of the ends. and I just broke it up. Once again, mechanical connection, very easy to fix. Just take the old toothpick out. We have some replacement ones laying around and you just insert the replacement one. And don't forget to chop off a little bit from each end to make sure it doesn't give too much interference. Get the operation up and down but with a little bit of force so we need to work it back and forth a little bit until the plywood adjusts and everything starts operating nice and smoothly once again I think yeah it's it works very good without the flywheel so it looks like the flywheel might be a little bit too tight on there so take a little bit more off just to get it a little bit smoother or easier operation here you go nope and one more thing put a little bit of lubricant on a toothpick to get it going smoother inside the holes
there. So I'm just going to work it back and forth until I break it off. Almost there. It does start to go back. Uh, doesn't have enough leverage to do it. Let's see. What if we put a little bit of weight? So we get to troubleshoot a little bit too. So I almost got it working to the way it's supposed to be, a little bit of lubricant on the main gear too, just uh, to be sure. Make sure the gears are, all gears are engaged. surgery on a flywheel. Just enough to hold it in place that it doesn't fall out, but it's not too tight that it prevents from the movement. needs a little bit more energy to shut it down. Not too much though. Both gears working when it's in a horizontal position, obviously, and up and down it closes. So a little bit of adjustment, minor working, and then as I said, uh, there's there's a little bit of friction with the plywood. So once you put the business cards in there, it will be operating much smoother. And um, after a few few times. Uh, one more thing I would do is probably so it does open and close. Um, if that's uh, with the toothpicks a little bit tough, as I mentioned before, they don't come equal. Um, so uh, you can try to see if you can get a shorter one or maybe uh, file it off a little bit uh, for the hole. But uh, it seems like now I have the box operational. So. And. Uh, it does interfere once in a while, but uh, after some adjustments, it should be working just fine. So this is the end of this one. Um, if there are any questions, uh, please send me an email, uh, reply to this video. Uh, any problems, also email. It's uh, info at uh, ugears.us. Uh, you can also go on our website. There is a uh, videos for... Um, all other models. Um, as I said, I'm restarting the uh, video, so I'm going to be doing um, one model 
at a time, um, going from the uh, front to the back. Uh, so E2 is the first one, next one's gonna be uh, theater. We have the video already available. Uh, so the tractor, I think there is a video also online. So the uh, timer is there. Um, so trailer is going to be the next video you're going to see. Um, please visit uh, ugears.us. Uh, we have all the product available. Um, it is in stock, ready to ship, right in time for the holidays. And uh, email us with any questions. Thanks. Uh, it was Dimitri with uh, Ugears US UK LLC. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.